Hi there, I'm Dr. Noelle Nelson, and it's my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you today, some uplifting, inspiring, and practical tips to help you find greater happiness and success in your life. Today's topic, the power of setting limits. In the language of human relationships, setting limits means letting people know what is acceptable to you and what is not. For example, if being hit by your spouse is not acceptable to you, then setting limits is saying the first time your spouse hits you, that is not acceptable to me. If you hit me again, I will leave. And the second time your spouse hits you, actually leaving. Setting limits is an expression of your human value, of your self-worth. By setting limits, you say, I'm a human being. I am valuable. I deserve to be treated well. Now, all that is well and good, but there is a second aspect to setting limits, which is less recognized but just as important. Only by setting limits is it possible to give wholeheartedly and graciously. And the ability to give wholeheartedly and graciously is one of the basic components of true and lasting love. So how does this work? Well, let's say your partner wants to be affectionate and playful, but you've had a rough day at work or with the kids, and you desperately need some private time. If you're not good at setting limits, you probably try to, you know, kind of like force yourself to be affectionate and playful, which of course won't work because you're too stressed to relax. The end result being you feel pressured, resentful at your partner for demanding so much of you, and further stressed. (laughs) Your partner won't have much of a good time either because they can feel your resentment whether you voice it or not. If you know how to set limits, however, you can operate quite differently. You can say, for example, Honey, I'd love to spend some fun time with you, but right now I'm very stressed from my day and I I need to unwind. How about if we do our separate thing for about an hour and get to go out there about eight? You can then go off and do whatever you need to unwind, de-stress, and nurture yourself. Now, when you get together with your partner, you are really ready, willing, and able to be there for them and to give graciously and wholeheartedly of your affection and playfulness. Often, when we love someone, we're tempted to do everything they want when they want it because we're afraid they'll abandon us if we don't. But when you give to another at the price of hurting yourself, you do not give graciously. You give against a background of resentment, which inevitably comes out in the form of martyr, as in, nothing I ever do is good enough. Or, love, schmub, it's always the same, I give, they take. And it is that underlying resentment which distorts love, damages it, and eventually drives your loved one away. When we fail to set limits, giving becomes a problem. We either give too much or too little. So, set limits. Take responsibility to ensure that your needs are met, so you are then free to give joyously and fully. Learning to set limits is a skill. As you practice it with your friends and loved ones, You will earn their respect and pave the way to truly loving relationships. Thank you for listening to Up. And check out my latest book, Phoenix Rising, Surviving Catastrophic Loss, Fires, Floods, Hurricanes, and Tornadoes. If you'd like more uplifting, inspiring, practical tips and techniques, please visit my website, noelnelson.com, or take a look at my Meet the Amazings Facebook page. Until next time... Be well and take care.